hand washing, CPR, and even how much to charge are all things you need to know when you think about babysitting. Well, luckily at the Ralph Ellison Library, the OSU County Extension is holding a babysitting 101 class, and we're getting an inside look at what they're going to be learning about. So if you're a babysitter or even know someone that's interested in babysitting, babysitting 101 is the class they need to be into to ensure that they have all of the skills they need to properly handle anything that is thrown at them. I am here with Lisa Hamblin today. Thank you so much for being here. Tell us a little bit about the program. Well, we're going to have a fall break babysitting class at the Ralph Ellison Library, October 12th and 13th. It's going to be free. We're going to provide lunch. We're going to do snacks. It's for kids who are ages 12 and up, and it'll be a great time to be having it because as we're moving into fall and winter, there are lots of holidays and parents going to Christmas parties. They're needing babysitters. <laughs> babysitters are needed now more than ever. And so when it comes to teaching kids the proper way to babysit, what are some of the things they're going to be learning? Well, they'll learn all kinds of things about child development, knowing what to expect at different ages and stages, discipline. Um, they're going to learn to be responsible, which is really important. And they're going to learn the business of babysitting. So how much to charge, um, how long they should be babysitting, how many children. Uh, so they're going to get a well-rounded idea of what it takes to be a good babysitter. Okay, so life skills, business advice, this sounds like the program they need to be at. So Don, one of the things that these kids are going to learn at this Babysitting 101 event is proper CPR, how to do it on a baby and then how to do it on a child. So why is CPR so important? Proper administration of CPR can double the survival rate in the event of a cardiac arrest. And it can be very scary if a child is babysitting and they need to administer CPR but don't know how to do it. So if you could kind of verbally walk us through how to perform CPR on a little baby. Okay, uh, on a little baby, the first thing to uh, know is the finger placement. Uh, when you give compressions, you give it with two fingers right below the nipple line of the baby. Uh, the compressions need to be an inch and a half deep at 100, be 100 beats per minute. Wow, okay, so that's for the babies, but then also if we have small children, how is CPR differently administered here? Uh, with children, it's administered with both hands, with the heel of the hand on the lower half of the breastbone. Uh, the compressions are given about two inches deep, yet still at 100 beats per minute. Okay, Lori, we're talking about hand washing habits and you know, ever since COVID, that's been the biggest thing, how to properly wash your hands. So can you kind of go over that a little bit? Yes, it's real important because when you're babysitting, you have food you're going to be handling, you're going to have snacks, you're going to be changing diapers, you're going to be tying shoes, you're going to be playing outside. All of those bring germs along. And so you need to make sure you know how to wash and you wash effectively and keep the kids safe and let them wash their hands. So uh, washing your hands with warm water, soap, and for at least 20 seconds. So you sing yourself happy birthday twice or you sing your ABCs twice and then that way it, it just uh, reinforced that you got as many germs off as you can. If you want to enroll in the Babysitting 101 workshop, it's on October 12th through 13th. It's from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Ralph Ellison Library. That's located at 2000 Northeast 23rd. And if you want more information, give them a call at 405-424-1437 or visit metrolibrary.org.